as we look at the head-to-head. -head. Rivera, three inches taller than Mogollan. Also, a slight reach advantage. They weighed in almost exactly the same reach as Callis. Get us going. And we continue with much more action this bout at a cash weight of 110 pounds. Continuamos con mucha más acción este duelo. A un peso pactado de 110 libras, los jueces son the judges are Richard Green Sr., Richard Green Jr., and Lorenzo Toledo. Y ahora, damas y caballeros, llegó el momento de un... In the blue corner, la esquina azul, vestida de negro, wearing black. Su peso oficial, 109.6 libras, her official weight, 109.6 pounds. Con un record profesional de una victoria y cuatro derrotas, with a pro record of one victory and four losses. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, Elizabeth Moya! Her opponent on the red corner, su oponente en la esquina roja, wearing red, vestida de rojo. Su peso oficial, 109.8 libras, her official weight, 109.8 pounds, con un record profesional de nueve victorias y diez derrotas, with a pro record of nine victories and ten losses. De Chihuahua, Mexico, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Nitali Rivera. El referee, Isaac Cabal. Fighters bring it in. Okay, we talked about the rules in the back. Do you have any questions? Obey my instructions, touch gloves if you want. Good luck. After your point. Doors closed. Ready to get underway, Elizabeth Mogollan. Representing Mexico in the black, black Nigdali in the red. Representing the United States. Taking time off to improve her ground game. Will it show as we are underway? Round number one. And you know, I'm sure the nerves are there, Jimmy. Five years away from the stage, the lights, the cameras. And it's like starting your career all over again, despite the fact that he's had had those 19 fights. Also on Combate Global. I mean, it's not a small show. It's not a little show. Yeah. And it's changed. I mean, yeah. The last time we saw her compete here, you know, it was the name, now it's right. Combate Global. So the, the, the panorama of the promotion has changed. Right now, though, looking good. Taking real estate and La Jaula. Making okay. Mogollan work from the outside. So a lot of eyeballs on Nikdali. She's a, she's an influencer, has a lot of following. Does she influence you to do anything? Artistically, she's oh. an artist. Man. There you go. Cool there you go. I like that. She did a we're, we're uh, skit there, there, Mortal Kombat stuff. They're pretty cool stuff. Got to give her credit for that. We're just too old to be influenced. It's too late. Yeah, Can't we're, we're done. We're, we're done being influenced. <laughs> but right now, the influencer in the red, though. Hands high, staying tight with the right hand. And behind her jab, nice leg kick. Yeah, what you see from Moyo Yan is that quick, fast pace, lots of fainting, but she tends to not move forward too much. And she'll throw in those loopy punches, and you'll see that one-two combination. Maybe she'll get a bit creative here instead of sticking to her bread and butter. Do you think she over relies on that bread and butter, on that one-two-three combination? Sometimes you got to rely on what you're good at, right? But at the same time, you won't know what you're capable of if you're able to take that risk. Also, don't want to get too predictable. Right. Right? We're in an age where everyone can see every fight. You know what's coming out. I'll tell you this, though, Nick Daly, I would have never known that she hasn't been in action for five years. Yeah, she's looking good so far, but you know, she has her purple belt from 10th Planet in Jiu-Jitsu, which is about when you start realizing that you don't know what you're doing, but you start you know, getting more skills. Right? So yeah. You're realizing what you don't know, but so far, no real attempt at the takedown. You can tend to stand and bang with Mogo Yan. Her husband also is uh, her coach, also fought professionally. <laughs> Good job keeping that right hand up. Head kick would have landed. Crazy to think, Nidali, her first fight was back in 2006. 
Wow. That's a, that's a, that's a long, long time. That's a pretty long time. My last fight was in 2006. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, she said it. You know, she's 33 now, but, you know, basically in her diapers when she started as a pro. And she and, and sometimes you have to take that step back. And also, man, just the mental maturity, right? Yeah. Like from, from when you start when you're a kid and no. you're now 33. And it's just experiences in the cage or in the howla. It's, it's experience in life. Right? You just get more mature. You get better at things. And right now, right, that 25, 33, 35, that's your peak for a fighter, roughly, for the most part, right? I, I'm glad you added as a fighter. I'm glad. Thank you, Rodolfo. Appreciate that. That's <laughs> Nick Dali now keeping the pressure on. Mogollan, to your point, a lot of feints, a lot of movement. Yep. After wondering about her gas, so she's just using a lot of that frenetic energy. She has it. And, you know, if, if you look at it, the, 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 the loss that she's had, two losses by split decision. Frustrating. And that kills you, you know, mentally. You're like, ah, because you almost nearly had it. So that's when you need to bring in some new stuff into your arsenal, not just stick to your bread and butter. Losses are where you learn what could I have done differently. Who wins? And she's at three and two as a pro instead of sitting at, at, at four and one. I'm sorry, one and four. Yep. Oh, nice right hand. Mogollan starting to find her range. She'll keep doing that one two combination, maybe throwing a hook. But as soon as she throws it, she'll back off. And that's what you'll keep seeing from her. And that constant reset. Yeah. Always playing the outside. Dali's doing a good job of moving forward. And she needs to keep doing on the offensive. Maybe he's a little faint. To, you know, to, to your point, it, it's, it's Nick Dali has been the one so far that hasn't changed up her offense very much. Not much. Staying on the one, two. Very stale, yeah. Fake and real estate, but you know, not, not, not changing things enough to break through the guard of Elizabeth Mogollan representing Mexico. And she's feeling into those feints. She's biting, you know, she's, she's taking the bait. I'd like to see if Nick Dali would, would show some of that ground work that she's been working on. No real attempt at the takedown. Coming upon 15 seconds left to go in round number one. There's that exchange. You see Mogoyan, she'll back off. Good job angling away. Nick Dali now getting aggressive at the end of round number one. Estás trabajando bien, pero estás trabajando muy pausado. No te necesito más tu activa. Lo mismo que estás haciendo más continuo. No, te estoy diciendo que le metas la calza por fuera. Sí. Esta está muy cerca y la tienes a distancia. La vas a abrir. No, si la estás abriendo por dentro, por, por fuera es más fácil. ¿sí? la más. Ella va a venir. Cruzala y sale su 45 con el gancho. Más cerca. If she starts throwing and you want to, body lock her, uh. either take. Corners out. Corners out. Yeah, más lo mismo, más continuo, más corners out. Welcome back to round number two. Elizabeth Mogollan in the okay, black representing round, Mexico, red. taking on Nick Dali in the Quick. red. Well, not just the... the not just the red outfit, but the red hair as well, <laughs> representing the United States. Quite amazing what she's had uh, uh, as a professional, taking on, uh, like, look at the, some of the names she took. Angela Magna. Yep. Feliz Herring. Feliz Herring, of course. Miko Matsumoto. Excellent fighter as well. So many. Jessica Penny. I mean, she's taking on so many names, great names in the females in mixed martial arts. We will know in a moment what the scores are. We have open scoring here at Combate Global. The corners know as well. End of round number one, McDowell getting a little bit more aggressive. Let's see if that trend continues to begin round number two. In between rounds, Moyan's corner told her, work the outside kick. She's coming in too close. Once she comes in, work the kicks from the outside. That's for Nick Dali. Her corner says, get her in the clinch. Bring her close to you. She keeps moving in. She'll come in the one, two, and back off. Grab her. And look, when she throws those loopy punches, Jimmy, she'll come in with a head down. 
Yeah, but McDally right now so far content with the straight right hand. We haven't seen any uppercuts. Haven't seen that clinch you're talking about. No body work. And straight punches right down the pipe. And here are the scores. Kind of all over the place. Mogollan has won two of the three judges' scorecards in round number one. That's that outside kick that she was working on and followed up with a hook. And reaching a little bit for that clinch. Yeah. She, she needs to grab it. She needs to sit. Because she, she could do that all day. But what she's doing is just picking up points, right? Yeah. You want to get that win. And, she, and, and that's been her strategy. Bring her to you. Leg was there for the catch and for Nick Dowling. Man, a little surprised that hasn't been a commitment to the takedown. She told you she's been working on that ground game. That's why she took the time off. Has her purple belt. There it is. There she attempted. Man, not much of an attempt. Didn't commit with the hips. Didn't change her level. A little bit of reaching there. From Mogollan, really working now the low kicks. To set something up. Now she's throwing her punches. Stop, stop. Time. Right here. It's like a groin shot from Mogo yeah. Young. Come over here for him. Come over here. Okay. Hey, you got five minutes. Okay. Take yes, your time. Sir. Unintentional. Yeah, right. There. It's okay. Unintentional shot. And guys, you can't coach him here. Okay. You ready? All right. Only taking right about here. 10 right seconds. Fight ready. Fight ready. Ready Time. to go. Fight. We continue. Dali in the red representing the United States. There we go. Elizabeth Mogollan in the black representing Mexico. Open scoring has told us that two out of three judges favor Mogollan in round number one. Dali can't throw the jab and give the shoulder. Not a good position for her, leaving her chin wide open. Just to keep that right hand up. Good way they were protecting herself there with that right elbow. That kick that came from Mogollan. Oh, changing it up. Yeah. Switch head kick from Mogollan. Didn't land, but we know it's there. Yeah, that switching stance is good for her, but she needs to do stuff like that to throw her off. She she knows that uh, Mogollan is going to do that one, two, quick, fast flurries and back off. Another good right hand to the Shut jaw. Up. Yeah. Valley's trying to push forward just a bit, but only a minute 30 kick there. left in round number two. Great overhand for McDowell. Trying to find a home for her punches. Can't not be too patient. Nick Dali can't be too right, patient, yeah. Jimmy. It's not an easy round to score, nor was round number one. Mogollan has that endurance to stay there. She could do that all day. Mogollan said, she said, you know, I was, I was having to work and train at night, and I couldn't put in everything I needed to. It's like I made training my full-time job. Now she trains two, three times a day. See the difference in her cardio and her pacing. Dedicate your time. And after you get that first win, you know, that, that's just a verification that, okay, I need to focus on this thing, put in the work. Good right hands from McDally. Yeah, check it out. And yeah, now a little more of that. Nice overhand right. Oh, well, yeah, with overhand, yeah. yeah. Coming back, exchanging significant strikes, we would say. Yeah, Shots from the, the power pocket. side, yeah. Dali needs to keep those hands up, though. Can't get, can't get into that scrappy fight with Mogoyan. And who will finish strong again? Round number two of a close fight. It's about who steals the rounds fair and square. Ten seconds left to go. And they are swinging and to the forth. bell. All right, and Jimmy. Round number two. We got something. Round for her for some reason, the first round. I don't know why. The first round is the her? first round they gave and her. And the second? No, they haven't done the second yet. But they gave Look. her. Yeah. Breathe. But I want you to know that for some reason, they're they're fucking drunk. Alright? So you need to just keep doing just what you did there. That pressure this is right the third there. Round? This is the third round. All right. Deep breaths. She hates you, I think. So level changing and overhand is working. She's okay. probably gonna look to try to shoot at some point this round. But 
that's just to try to seal this. So just be ready for that, okay. all right? But keep doing what you're doing, all right? Okay. Breathe for me. Fight in a beautiful fight, regardless. You won the first one. Third round, right? All right, third round. We are ready to begin round number three. Elizabeth Mogollan in the black, representing Mexico. It is USA versus Mexico tonight. United States represented by Nick Dali. Red clothes and red hair. Jimmy Winter corner toe Nick Dali. <laughs> is this the third round? <laughs> right, I also said you lost round number one. She's like, oh God. A little upset about hearing that news. But. You know, it's like when you compete, Jimmy, and you're in there, you just, your mindset is just to just keep going. You're not paying attention no. to rounds or times or anything like that. Time does not exist in this dojo. That's none right. You got <laughs> none at all. Let's keep going. Now, what's interesting is her coach said in the corner of McDally that you know she believes Mogollan that, that they believe Mogollan is going to be going for the takedown, but no mention of hey, how about get one of your own? How about take this down, see what we can do on the ground? You took here. the words out of my mouth. Yeah. Because, I'll try yes. to do. I'll try. Consider part of my job. Because <laughs> that is what she needs to do. We haven't seen, only I think once she attempted to go for a clinch, but nothing about the groundwork. Look right here in that exchange. Change the levels. Take a shot. You got your opponent moving back, which McDally does. And she does that a lot. That's what she'll do. And, and McDally, it is tied on one judge's scorecard. McDally has the lead in one. Mogollan has the lead in one. Translation, whoever wins this third round wins the fight. And I think McDally got the message because I see a different no. fighter this time around. And now we got a clinch work here for the first well, time. Well, it turns out her coach was right. Single leg attempt from Mogollan, trying to take this fight to the ground. That could make the difference, right? Take that takedown, you should take the fight. That good job getting the hands broken though from Nick Dali. Let's break off that clinch right there, Jimmy. That's the spot, you should have gone down to the floor. Oh, now Eight we got a scrap, left. Jimmy. And it is a brawl, it's broken out in La Jaula. Nick Dali staying in the face of Elizabeth Mogollan. Tons of strikes Look at here. The strikes the are almost exactly the same. The 244 fight. to 240. Wow. Wow. Significant strikes, 245 to 242. Those shots from Nick Daly just coming in a bit more powerful from that from the earlier rounds I see. They're coming in with everything. Also, she's moving forward on every uh, single yes. strike, too. She's, so she's, the judges can see she's moving forward a lot more. She's not holding back, Shane She can't give the shot side of her shoulder, though. She can't step back like that, Jimmy. Good way of working the body as well. It's like the positive and the negatives. You know, you got Nick Daly's very calm, patient, and Mogollan just fast feet moving. Polar opposites. One thing that, that's easiest to judge is who's moving forward and who's moving backward. And right now, it is Nikdali moving forward. And notice, even Mogoyana still down the pace without that. Jumping around. And now no oh, now she's move. backed into La Jaula. Do we see that level change takedown? No, we do not. Content to stand and bang. It's working out so far in round number three for Nikdali. Uh, yes. Different I type I understand of at this point not wanting to change the strategy. If, if it's working, why? And if it ain't broken, why fix it, yeah, right? Don't change the winning game. It's working for her. She's coming with those heavy shots. And Mogollan slowing down a little bit. And she's taking it, Mogollan just taking in. She's not adjusting. Still the same type of fighter. It's the first time I see her throwing in with that uppercut. A good way of Nigdali. It's like a shark, right? Just yeah. following her prey, attacking, striking. Good head movement by Nick Daly. Oh, it's going to come down to the wire with this one, Jimmy. It's going to come down to how yeah. the judges see it in this last maybe 45 seconds. Nick Daly now feeling good, trying to stalk down Mogollan. Effective in round number one, but Mogollan less effective. Rounds two and especially round three. 
Another good right from Nick Daly. Another yeah, those, one. Those rights have been landing for Nick Daly in this third round. I think she realizes that a lot of the, the steam has gone out of the punches of Mogo Jan. She's yeah. going to walk through them Not in this last power. round. Not a lot of power in that, but Nick Daly does have it. And I think Ten that could be the change, left. Jimmy. She's going to go all in right here. That's going to be the difference for the judges. Seconds left to go in the round and the fight. And Nick Daly moving forward, throwing big shots. The questions, how did the judges see it in round number three? We'll find out when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Oh, it was an amazing fight. The ladies brought it as they always do. Judges all over the place. Where do they land? Beatrice Callis will let us know. Después de tres vueltas de mucha más acción, esta es la decisión oficial. After three rounds of much more action, this is the final decision. Pues Richard Green Sr. anota 29 to 28 in favor of Rivera. Green Jr. anota 30 to 27. And Lorenzo Toledo, 29 to 28. And the winner, by way of split decision, el ganador, la ganadora por decisión dividida, Nick Daly Rivera! Split decision, but... It was that third round was the happy. difference. That you know, we was 100% the difference. I just got a message from an epic, Camel Blair, and he said five years ago he was shocked to think that Nick Daly was just going to call it quits. Tonight he's impressed. 